All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So as we wind down to the end of the year, as 2020 finally comes to a close, a lot of people have been wondering exactly what we can expect for this upcoming New Year celebration for, you know, the first banner of the year. Now we're talking specifically about the global side of the game since we already know what JP is going to be getting, and in case you guys missed it, there's going to be a new dual token festival between a transforming Janemba as well as a partner super attack or unit super attack Pycon slash Gogeta. By the way, for anybody that's wondering, anybody that cares, my video going over the jump festa leaks as well as the new animations for the Pycon and Janemba did get demonetized. It was claimed by Bandai Namco. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I was expecting it, so. It's fine. Anyways, uh, with all that said, let's just jump right into it and do a little speculation, maybe a little theorizing about what us global players can expect to get in terms of a new banner and a new unit in the new year. All right, so first things first, within a couple of days, we should expect to see this banner right here, the Tanabata banner, um, drop on most likely Christmas 25th slash uh, possibly 26th, depending on your time zone. And uh, this banner obviously is pretty exciting for some people because it does feature the return, the first ever return of the five year LRs, the Vegito Blue, as well as the Blue Gogeta. And also we have the latest Dokkan Fest LR, the LR Blue Boys, who just came out a couple weeks ago on Global, the Krillin's here, and uh, there's also the LR Gobro. So those are definitely the highlights of this banner. Otherwise, we have a bunch of other uh, Dokkan Fest units, you know, some good ones like the Trunks and Zamasu. Obviously, these guys are still pretty solid. And then we have some 120 leads, some EZA units, so on and so forth. So overall, this banner is, um, I mean, I want to say it's a really good banner because there are some amazing units featured. But at the same time, there are a ton of featured SSRs, so it really depends on how many of these units you're actually missing, right? But either way, this banner should definitely be dropping in a couple days. And then after that, closer to New Year's, or maybe, I think it usually comes out on New Year's Eve, but I'm not 100% sure. But either way, we will be getting a new step up banner this year with most likely three rounds five steps, a different kind of guaranteed unit for every step. Of course, the highlight here, the guaranteed LR. On the fifth step, and uh, in terms of the featured units, it's gonna include most of the Dokkan Festival exclusive units in the game, as well as most of the non um, Dokkan Fest LRs. I think the newest LR will most likely be LR Ultra Instinct Goku, and then the newest Dokkan Fest unit is probably gonna be something like either Cooler or Bardock. I think Cooler is probably more likely, but either way, there's going to be a lot of great units. You get a guaranteed uh, EZA unit, 120 lead, super category lead, extreme category lead, and also an LR. For each round, 200 stones per round, 600 stones in total, if there are indeed three rounds once again. Okay, so these two banners are definitely coming, that's not a question. But of course, the main topic of this video is what can we expect next in terms of a new unit, in terms of a new banner and there have been some speculation some rumors flying around that maybe since global has been getting a lot of simultaneous releases with jp recently like the heroes collab as well as the tech super saiyan 2 gohan banner that uh, we might also get the janemba and pycon dual dokkan fest for new years now that's a nice idea and i think that'd be pretty exciting for sure i don't see it happening okay i think it's Highly, highly, highly unlikely that we'll get this dual Dokkan Fest at the same time. There's like a tiny chance, maybe like 0.1%, but more likely than not, we are going to go back on track with, you know, an older banner from the JP side that we haven't had on Global yet, right? And in my mind, there are a couple of options. I mean, two realistic ones, one that is a little bit less realistic, but still possible. So let's talk about it. Now, the first banner that I think is on the minds of a lot of people is this one right here, the Tech LR Jiren banner, because this was the banner that most people expected us to get for Christmas on uh, Global instead of the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, since that was a complete surprise. Nobody expected a simultaneous release on both sides. So instead of Jiren, we got the Gohan and this banner got pushed back. But now that we're most likely gonna go back on track with the you know JP schedule, 
Um, you know, a lot of people think that we're gonna get Jiren next on Global for the New Year's banner. Now, while I understand where people are coming from, I don't think this is actually gonna happen, mainly because if you look at the history of this game, if you look at the you know trend of banner releases in the past, Bandai doesn't seem to like to release legendary summon banners back to back, okay? Like, I don't remember the last time we got two legendary summon banners with new LRs featured in back to back celebrations. I mean, we've had those legendary summon banners with like old LRs where we had like five in a row, but that's different. But yeah, I don't remember the last time we had two legendary summon banners like that. I mean, of course, you can say that the Gohan banner is a double rates banner, so it's kind of different. But at the end of the day, it's just a glorified legendary summon banner. There are no Dokkan Fest units on that banner. So in my mind, it's still a legendary summon banner just with better rates. So I just don't see them releasing the LR Jiren legendary summon banner to follow up the tech Gohan banner. Now, I'm not saying there's not a chance. I do think there's a possibility. I just think it's unlikely so with that said i think it's much more likely that we get this guy instead for our new year's banner the transforming angel final form frieza into you know angel golden frieza and honestly this would be a much better option in my opinion because this guy's banner was absolutely amazing i mean not only was the banner amazing but the unit itself is also really 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 good man easily in my mind like top three tur's in the game right now. I mean, as you can see, it's got a bunch of recent Dokkan Fest units. We got the Frieza, we got Beerus, we got Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku, STR Cooler, STR Namek Goku, and then these two Friezas are also here. I mean, they're still decent, not super exciting, but it makes sense because it is a Frieza banner. So uh, yeah, I mean, even if they swap out a few of these units, let's say maybe Beerus for Bardock, maybe this guy for future Gohan or something like that. It's most likely still going to be a very, very good banner. So I'm excited for this one. I also really want Frieza. And I do think that this is going to be the next new banner on Global featuring a new unit or, you know, basically our New Year's banner. Now, if you look back to the beginning of this year, we also started this year with a Dokkan Festival banner, and it was for not this guy, but this dude right here, the Fizz Piccolo, right? So we had, uh, I believe, the Kellen Khalifa banner, and then we had, you know, the Tanabata banner, uh, New Year Step Up, and then for New Year's, we had Fizz Piccolo. So I think this year we'll also follow that trend and start with a Dokkan Festival banner, and I think most likely it's gonna be the Angel. Um, Final Form Frieza slash Golden Frieza. Now I have this banner here as well because I think there is a very slight chance that they might surprise us and give us Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta instead of Angel Golden Frieza, but I feel like it's uh, a pretty low chance, right? Maybe like 10% or something like that. I mean, obviously I would be super happy if they decided to release this guy for New Year's because I want him real, real bad. The banner wasn't the best. I mean, it wasn't terrible. It just wasn't a great banner. But this guy is just so amazing that I would be 100% okay with him getting released early. And uh, obviously, your boy's gonna wail out for this guy. But I just don't really see it happening. There's also gonna be a new Nova Shenron on his banner. And, uh, you know, Kefla is good. Hopefully they keep her. Piccolo is still, you know, solid. Gobros obviously seems to be thrown on like every banner these days. And uh, these three at this point, pretty outdated, but uh, still usable for sure. So um, yeah, this banner wouldn't be bad either. And you know what? Fighters is actually getting Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta um, with their next update, right? So maybe they would want to release the Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas on both games at the same time. I mean, I don't think there's really like much of a correlation there, but there's a chance, right? There's definitely a chance. But if I were to bet money on the next new unit on Global, I would put it on this guy right here, okay? I am very, very confident in this pick. It doesn't mean that it's guaranteed, of course, because nobody really knows, unless you're a Bandai spy, of course, which I am not. But I do think Angel Frieza is imminent, and that's all I gotta say. Now, of course, in terms of events, we don't exactly know what they're gonna bring us, but we are gonna be getting a world tournament on the first, the first day of the year, starting off with a world tournament. And then I believe our Ultimate Clash slash Battlefield is expiring on the 3rd or 5th. So we'll get a new one for the New Year celebration as well. And maybe, 
maybe a new Extreme Z Awakening for a Dokkan Fest unit, like um, Kid Buu possibly, or even a non Dokkan Fest like um, Mass Saiyan would be pretty cool. So we'll have to see. But uh, either way, guys, this is my pick for Global's New Year's banner. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that, whether or not you agree with me. And if you disagree, then what do you think we're going to be getting for New Year's? Okay, any answer is is valid at this point, even if you want to say the dual Dokkan Fest between PyCon and Gogeta, because there is a, I guess, super tiny chance. I just really can't see a world where, you know, that happens. But... You never know. This is global after all, right? So, uh, yeah, guys. Oh, actually, before we go, I'm going to give you guys a quick breakdown of what this Frieza is all about because I am that confident in this pick. Okay, so his leader skill is Resurrected Warriors or Other World Warriors. Keep plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. Super attack raises defense, infinitely stacking, immense damage, and seals super attack. Passive is attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional... Attack and defense plus 50% for 5 turns after receiving an attack and medium chance of evading enemies attack including super attack within the same turn after receiving an attack. And then attack enemies attack and defense minus 30% for 2 turns. His active skill is a transformation into Angel Golden Frieza and can be activated upon entering attacking turn which basically means that as soon as this guy comes into the rotation for the first time in a battle you can pop that active skill and get that golden freeze at transformation immediately his links are prodigies strongest client in space universe's most malevolent shocking speed nightmare tournament of power and fierce battle in categories at resurrected warriors universe survival saga representatives of universe 7 transformation boost full power wicked bloodline and other world warriors and then as angel golden frieza his super attack massively raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage and passive is attack and defense plus 120 percent plus an additional attack and defense plus 80 percent and great chance of stunning the attacked enemy when performing a super attack reduces damage received by 50 percent when hp is 49 percent or less and i believe his links actually stay exactly the same as before okay so yeah those are the details for the angel golden frieza most likely the next new unit on global thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out